Jeez. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Gardner, chiropractor, practitioner of network spinal analysis at EC Spine, and we're going to show you how to assess your posture as viewed from the side, the lateral view. All you need, even when doing the full work setup, is what's called a plumb line, which is just a string or a rope hung from, we use the doorway. We also use these command strip hooks so you can take it down, put it back up without any surface damage to the wall. And then there's to be a weight at the end of the rope, almost but not quite touching the floor, so that the rope is pulled straight. Red sticky labels for identifying anatomical landmarks to see how they line up with the plumb line. First landmark, the ear canal. Easy enough. Next landmark, the acromial clavicular joint, AC joint for short. This is the one landmark that's a bit tricky, so we'll spend a little time here. Run your fingers along your collarbone, also called the clavicle, in case you're looking at anatomical pictures. I find it much easier to stay on the inside surface of your collarbone, otherwise it's like so easy to get off track onto other bones nearby, but not too much into just the inside surface of your collarbone because as you wind your way back here, you're looking for a gap between two bones, a space that's only like about that big between the collarbone and the acromion process that extends out of the shoulder blade from the back. And you can tell when you're in the right spot by putting your fingertip on it while you swing your upper arm, like that. You should then feel the two bones moving with the motion of your arm. Next landmark, the greater trochanter, right on the thigh bone, called your femur. Run your fingers up the thigh bone until you feel the first bony protuberance, kind of like a round but somewhat pointed knob, a little higher up than your sit bones and almost as high as your pubic bone. Now when the legs are in neutral position for standing upright, the plumb line should also fall right behind the kneecap but in front of the knee joint, right about there. You want your knees to be almost straight but relaxed, not completely straight, which is hyperextension on the knee joints, and that as a habit is very hard on the knees. Not good. Plumb line also to fall right in front of the outside ankle. There's the posture we have when maybe we you know we're trying to look our best nice and straight and tall. And then there's a posture we might tend to droop into or stiffen up into when maybe our posturing is not so lively. Actually, every iota of improvement in that posture, where we go when we're least aware of our spine, that's going to be the baseline improvement that coincides with many changes in different areas of your life. So just have fun with this. You know, catch yourself in front of the mirror, turn to the side to see how your posture might look when you're acting out in some way. The shortcoming with that, though, is that as you turn your head to see yourself in the mirror, the ear canal gets a free ride, looking like it's going over the AC joint from you turning your head, leaving you relatively clueless as to how much head forward posture you might have. So this setup is good for getting familiar with what to look for. Have a friend take a picture of you from the side, or just find a surface to rest your camera on, take a time picture, or even a video. At easyspine.com, you'll find our posture page where you'll see the nine influential factors on your posture and how to have them working in your favor. Thank you.